what's up you guys long time no see i have not vlogged in forever and honestly last year i thought i was like completely done with youtube you know because people were like barely going on there i was barely getting like any views and stuff like that so i really wasn't posting much at all last year but the other day i was like filing my taxes and everything and i still had to like pay taxes on the money that I made from YouTube last year. Even though I wasn't posting that much, I still made a lot of money, surprisingly. So I had to like file taxes on that and it just got me to thinking about how I was never really doing YouTube for the money. You know, I really genuinely enjoyed vlogging. I enjoyed documenting my life. I enjoyed when I used to do like the hair videos. It brought me happiness. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make it a point to get back into that. Over time, I just drifted away from doing things that genuinely make me happy. So one of my goals for this new year is to really just start back doing things that make me happy and prioritizing myself. You know, just like doing things outside of just being a mother i feel like once i became a mother i just put all of my focus into that and i'm not saying that in like a negative way because i don't regret anything it's just more so like now that my kids are getting older i have a three-year-old and a one-year-old she's 16 months to be exact so i don't have like little babies anymore so i can be like i'm a little more free now, when I first had my first daughter, I had her in the height of the pandemic in April of 2020. And then I was just like stuck in a house for with her for like a year after that. So I just didn't even have anything during that time to really vlog or talk about. I don't know, I just feel like that was just a really rough time. Being a stay at home, work from home, mom full time. And then in 2022, I had my second daughter. I just feel like these last two to three years of my life, I was prioritizing motherhood. I was finishing school. I started a new job. By the way, I cannot wait to update you guys. I feel like I have so many tips and tricks to give out because I've learned so much y'all. My life has just been, it's been a journey, okay? And I've learned so much that I feel like I can share just based on my personal experiences and career-wise. So yeah, I had a bunch of big life changes this year, which really made me just like put YouTube on the back burner because I had so much stuff to focus on. Like I finished my MBA degree. <laughs> I moved into my first house. I got a job that literally more than doubled my salary. And, and then once I started my new position, it was a lot. It was um, a lot to get used to because I was entering into a completely new field that I had never worked in before. So I had a lot of learning to do. Like it was a huge, a very huge learning curve. Honestly, I've just been feeling like a shell of myself. Like I haven't even been feeling like myself. So. My goal now is to get back to feeling like Terry, to feeling like myself, and to just, just do things that I love to do for myself outside of working and outside of being a mom. So, welcome to my channel. That was such a long intro and I feel like I was just rambling for the most part. But yeah, today is Saturday, February 3rd. And I have a lot to do today. I just made myself a little list because I have the worst memory. Like the older I get, the worse my memory gets. If I don't write things down, I will forget to do them. And it's just like simple things, like really simple things. So yeah, please disregard my ugly handwriting. So here is my to-do list for today. Basically just a bunch of cleaning. I have to clean my bedroom, the kitchen, Nova's bedroom, it's always a mess. And I have to order tampons. Why did no one tell me that you can buy tampons using an HSA account? You could even go on Amazon and like type in HSA and it'll show you everything that you can buy with your HSA account. If you don't know what an HSA account is, it's just an he a health savings account through your employer. So how it works is you can have money go directly from your paycheck to this health savings account tax-free. Um, and your employer will sometimes put money in that account as well. My jobs, um, the, the jobs I've had over the last few years, my employers usually always put a lump sum of money in there. Um, so I always have money in my HSA whenever I need it. And it's a health savings account. You're supposed to use it for health, for qualified health expenses. 
to pay for like my co-pays and my medicines, my prescriptions and stuff like that when I go to the doctor. Cause I have like really bad eczema like all over. And so I go to the dermatologist a lot. So I usually just use the money in my health savings account to pay for that. But now I'm just not finding out that there's so much more stuff that you can actually use that money for. And my period just started yesterday. So I wanted to go on Amazon and order some tampons, but I cannot find my HSA card. They give you like an actual debit card that you can use. And since I don't really use it that much, I cannot find it. I can probably go in the store as well and buy them. But I don't know, like since I've never used my HSA card in the store before, it kind of just like makes me nervous to go in there. I don't know, I feel like my mind, when, I, when I've never did something before, I get really, really bad anxiety over it. So I would just much rather order it off of Amazon. Isla and Nova already had their breakfast. Isla is still in her high chair calling for me to come get her. Mommy's coming, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. Isla is only like 16 months old now and she talks so much, it's, in it's insane. You finished with your breakfast? No. Are you finished with your breakfast? No. You wanna get down? No. Down? No. Okay, baby. So this is how my dining room floor looks after the girls have breakfast. This is probably gonna be the first thing I clean up. And I have all this nail stuff sitting here because I did my nails. I'm such a press on girl now and I absolutely love it. This here glue is really the best glue I've come across. So right here is the Valentine's Day basket that I made for the girls. I literally put my blood, sweat, and tears into these because I want to make sure my babies know that I love them. So yeah, I kind of just like have them sitting right here on the couch with this blanket over them so that they don't see. At first I was gonna wait until actual Valentine's Day to give it to them, but then I feel like it just makes more sense to give it to them earlier so that they can enjoy the stuff prior to Valentine's Day. All right, so it's been like an hour or two and I'm not even finished cleaning up right now, but I'm gonna take a break and go get some food because I have not eaten anything all day. All right, so just got back from getting my Jolly Bees. I got the six piece original chicken because they were out of spicy. Some fries. Mashed potatoes. And this is the gravy. I actually like Jolly Bee's gravy. I'd like to just like, I usually dip my chicken in it, but since I want to save some wow. for later, I'm just going to pour it. Mommy, mommy. Isla, Isla. Mommy, mommy. All that crying, don't want to eat. Okay. Can you say chicken? Chicken. Good job. The day is already over with. It's four o'clock. Isa loves water. Isa, you got your food all inside of my water bottle. Yes, you did. That's why I don't like sharing my water with you. You look, you got your food all inside, Isa. Look, you got your food all in there. See that? Do you see that? Let me see, mommy. It's your water now. I don't want no more. Mama. Yes. It's a camera. No, mommy, down. Isla says down when she wants to get up. Isla. Huh? In the kitchen? Kitchen. Kitchen? I already scratched going to Trader Joe's off of my list for today because I just. I don't feel like it's almost 5 p.m. and Issa's gonna be due for a nap soon. And I just don't feel like having two cranky kids with me in Trader Joe's. So yeah, what else was on my list? Clean bedroom. I cleaned the bedroom, cleaned the kitchen, cleaned Nova's room. I'm not cleaning her room today. Nova keeps her room in absolute 
mess. And the funny thing is, she does not sleep in there. She has slept in her room maybe twice by herself since we've moved here, but we co-sleep. I've co-slept with my kids since Nova was born, and once Isla was born, we all just sleep in the bed together since always. So today is Sunday, February 4th. Um, Y'all, it's already like 2.30 p.m. right now. We already did, like of course, our entire morning routine. Already did mostly everything that I was gonna do for the day. I woke up, cooked breakfast, did my morning cleaning. Loki had a grooming. Um, I do, I like to do like the um, mobile pet grooming where they come out to your house or whatever. So. They came out at two and gave him a fresh wash, a fresh cut, so he looks really nice. Yesterday, I never got around to giving the girls their Valentine's Day gift baskets, so that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I'm gonna do my hair. I have this hood on looking like a freaking criminal because my hair is like in like these prison braids right now because I have been like literally so into just like working out and everything that I just don't want to worry about my hair. So I've just been having it braided up and I've been putting different wigs on every single day because that's just, it's just so much easier. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and just put some regular clothes on because I want to get their reactions to their gifts on camera. So I'm also going to get them dressed and do their hair as well. I've always just loved Valentine's Day. So I really want them to get like as excited about Valentine's Day that I do. So I'm just so happy to just see their faces as they're opening their gifts. So I actually washed my wig this morning. So I had it hanging up so that it can dry. Cause this is a wig that I wear almost like every day when I'm like working out and stuff. So it gets really sweaty. So yeah, I'll be back once everyone is dressed. All right, so I'm dressed. I didn't do any makeup or anything. I put on this pink set that I got a while back from Walmart. And I actually put on a different wig than the one that I was showing you guys before. That was right here. I just did not feel like blow drying it all the way. I absolutely hate the natural color of my lips. They're like this naturally ashy pink color. So they look ashy even when they're not ashy because they just, it's just how they look. So yeah, this is actually a workout set that I bought from Walmart a few months ago. It doesn't have much support. These straps right here, I've been trying to like tie them around my neck just to give it some more support. Lift my boobs up some more because they already saggy. Like I don't want them to just look too saggy. Make sure they're looking okay, right? All right, so I originally bought this as like a little workout set. I just never had a chance to wear it, especially since it's just been like so cold lately. Today is actually pretty warm outside. So after the girls open up their baskets, I may just let them go outside and run around a little bit. I'm really just doing all of this for memory purposes so I can have all these beautiful memories of me and my girls. Now I need to do their hair, so I'm about to go grab them. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Do it. What am I doing? I'm about to brush your hair. This is the back, the back, the front, kitty pie. <coughs> Look how cute you are. I love you. What's that? Can you say camera? Bubble. Camera. Bubble. Camera. Bubble. Say mommy. Mommy. I love you. Bye. 
Thank you. So Nova's hair has been in this style for like a month, over a month now. And I'm actually not gonna take it down. I'm just gonna freshen it up, freshen up her edges a little bit. So this brand of edge gel has just been my go-to lately. I don't know the name of the brand. All Day Locks. I have this one and then I have this one. They both work pretty good on edges. Okay, so I kind of turned the office into kind of like a workout slash play area. So I think we're gonna open the gifts in here. All right. All right, girls. Come get your gifts. You like your cup? Look. What a cute little heart. We have another one. A unicorn lip balm. Let me see. Wow. Yes. Isla's loving her cup. Look, Isla. Shoes. You got pink glasses? Mm -hmm. Open it. Look, Isla, you did. You did. Bubbles. Look, Isla, look at your book. Let's. And she has another book. I got this book. You have two books. You have this book, and then you have this book. Ooh, he got. A painting set so she can paint you can help her paint mm -hmm. My paint. Hey. so we're finishing our afternoon off letting the girls run around outside the girls really enjoyed their Valentine's Day gifts and I'm so excited I'm so happy here Isla <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it's way windier than what I expected. It's actually pretty chilly, so we might not stay out here for long. We might go inside and watch a nice girly movie, eat some popcorn, and tomorrow's Monday, so I do have to prepare for the work week. I may actually do like a, um, a day in my life, like working from home with two toddlers vlog tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and in this vlog right here. Nova's yelling at me. She has to use the bathroom. So, see you guys next time. Bye.